Okay, now that you've had a chance to do the exercise, let's see if our answers match. Uh, we started you off with this, where we said your output would be a pot of coffee. Not a cup of coffee, but a pot of coffee. According to the instructions, we should build a SIPOC from the right to the left. So the next question we want to ask is, who gets this coffee? Who's the customer? In this case, I'll put down the coffee drinkers in the office. We're certainly willing to share. Anybody that wants coffee can come in and have a cup. Now, next question is, what is the process that we have to follow in order to make a pot of coffee? We want to keep this very high level, five to seven steps, and typically we'll draw in the first and last step just to bookend the process. Then we'll dump in the steps in between. So I'll draw the first step as clean the pot. You may have had something like approach the coffee maker, which is certainly fine. If you did that, when you get to the more detailed process maps, you would blow that out into more detail, such as see if the coffee maker is plugged in, see if it needs cleaning, do we have all the supplies, etc. So there's several different ways to start this. I'll use clean the pot as the starting point for this one. We'll also end the process with hitting the brew button. Notice I can't really say pour the coffee because the output was not a cup of coffee, it was a pot of coffee. So hitting brew is code words for actually hitting the brew button and then waiting around a little bit to make sure that we got the coffee. We'll now fill in the process steps in between. We'll put a filter in, dump in some coffee grounds, pour in some water, and I think that's pretty much our process. As we proceed to the left, the next question is going to be, what inputs do we need to the process overall in order to make this work? Well, it would be very difficult to make this work without a coffee maker, uh, so we've got the machine itself. We also need some supplies, things like filters, uh, some soap, uh, towel, a dish rag, uh, maybe some kind of scoop. We'll, we'll write that all off to supplies. In addition, we need the coffee itself. We're going to need some water. And if you want to get super technical about it, this coffee is not going to make itself. We need some kind of labor in order to do all of this. Lastly, we're going to ask, where do all of these inputs come from? Here, we're just going to basically say the office provides all of the supplies. Uh, me, I provide the labor. Now, notice, you might have had something like we, we get the supplies from the supermarket or a coffee supply uh, place, but we don't take it really far back the supply chain. We don't go to the manufacturer of the coffee maker. We don't go to the hills of Columbia where a lot of our coffee beans come from. Uh, so we want to keep it nice and high level. If you follow all of this process, you've got a nice pot of coffee, and hopefully your answer matches that. This is a great job, good work, we're going to press on to some more detailed process maps.